Hello and welcome back to the Jail Games Combat Arena Championship, where today we have eight more robots hoping to be the champion. Last week, Mute made its way through to the final to join Rybot. Who will join him today? First up, we have Maelstrom against Bayamoth. And the house robot this time is the Red Baron. Okay, here we go. Maelstrom getting straight underneath Bayamoth. Look at the power. I didn't expect this. Shoving Bayamoth straight onto the spikes. That's crazy. It's Bayamoth out already. That is a ridiculous display of driving power. Can they get off? I don't think they can. I think they are immobilized. Maelstrom with the power to attack the house robot as well. Nearly shoving him into the pit. They are in the pit. Everyone's in the pit. Everyone goes in the pit eventually. Well, how about that? Bayamoth is out. Well, I didn't expect that. Bayamoth straight out of the competition. Maelstrom going through. Next up, we have Cherub against Can Opener. And the house robot this time is Shunt. Okay, here we go. Cherub and Can Opener, they both meet. It looks like uh, Cherub's got the upper hand going underneath Can Opener. Pushing Can Opener towards the CPZ where Shunt can get involved. Excellent, causing damage. And pushing him towards the pit, but I don't think he'd be allowed to do that. He's now withdrawing back into the CPZ. And now Cherub's in trouble. Shunt's gonna exit the CPZ to uh, give him a chance to have a bit of a fight. However, they shouldn't be fighting in the CPZ. Might have to come back in here. But look at this! Look at that! Can openers cause Cherub huge problems. It just flipped them straight over. That is a great manoeuvre. Well, Cherub is definitely reduced mobility now. Doesn't work as well upside down. Can opener doing all the damage. Hmm. This is this is very cagey fight. It looks like Can opener just squeezing down and trying to cause maximum damage. Shunt having a bit of a glance. Yeah, it looks like this is all uh, this is all can opener's fight at the moment. All the damage points going to can opener. Cherub, a bit helpless really, upside down, being shoved towards the spikes. If can opener can get him on there, surely this fight will be over. Oh, but look at that! What a shot! Cherub's, Cherub's back over. Now they both look immobilized on the spike. So who's going to get off first? Cherub's got off. They both have. And they're both going after Shunt, which they shouldn't be doing. Well, I thought this was all over for Cherub straight away, but now it looks like both of them are alive and kicking. Shunt, Shunt's a bit in trouble, I think. He's been ganged up on by them in the last 20 seconds of this fight. <laughs> well, we'll have to see what happens here. Last 10 seconds. And I think that Cherub has probably been eliminated due to the damage and control from Can Opener. Yep, Can Opener with a huge amount of damage points. Can Opener going through. Well, that was a very long and cagey fight, but definitely went in Can Opener's favour. All the damage points going to Can Opener. Cherub eliminated. Next up, we have Suicidal Tendencies against Megabyte. And the house robot this time 
is Matilda. Okay, here we go. And Megabyte going straight for Matilda. Shouldn't be doing that. You better get out of there, Matilda. Now Megabyte is spun straight up and going straight for suicidal tendencies. Attacking the tracks and everything. That scoop has been completely ineffective. Matilda's dazed and confused, trying to head back into the CPZ. But once a uh, Megabyte not really capitalising on the fact that it's got such a deadly spinner. Because it's just pushing straight on to suicidal tendencies. I don't think Matilda's very happy with this. She's having a she's having a go. Is not happy with what's going on, she wants to fight. I think Suicidal Tenses is trying to go in a bit now. Oh, look at the damage to the back panel, I'm sure it's creased. Yeah, look, it's dented. Megabyte not spinning up. Very strange. Perhaps they've got issues. But now, Suicidal Tendencies is in the CPZ, which allows Matilda to come in and do some damage. Megabyte is also in the CPZ. Poor Matilda needs to get away. Goodness me, Suicidal Tendencies is looking worse for wear, isn't it? being shoved towards the spikes now but why Megabyte have chosen this style of combat I don't know but look at the damage Suicidal Tendencies has been just left there beached oh, I think it's dead actually yep it's dead okay well poor Matilda has now got to deal with uh, Megabyte that's not a good thing but getting the upper hand there can get the tusks underneath. I think we might end up with broken off tusks at this rate. Unless there's a pit there. 30 seconds to go. Come on Matilda, you can you can deal with him. Into the pit. Well done, Tildy. Well done. Well, Megabyte going through, no real surprise. Well, no real surprises there, except perhaps Megabyte not spinning up as much as it should. Suicidal Tendencies, knocked out. Next up, we have Foxic 3 against Weird Malice. And the house robot this time is Igor. Okay, here we go. And Malice getting underneath Foxic 3 straight away. Pushing it around, holding it down with the flipper and putting it on the spikes. That is an expert display of driving right there. Foxic having terrible trouble trying to self right, of course. It looks like, yeah, that is it. I was just trying to spin around. Can it recover from that? I don't think it's been actually immobilized yet. Nope, I don't think it's been immobilised, but now it has. Yep, the countdown started. So now it's just Igor and Weird Malice in the arena. Now Weird Malice being one of the most powerful flippers in the competition, as you can see there. I think Igor might just have the advantage with the drive. And in fact, Weird Malice looks pretty dead. There we go. Onto the spikes with you, Igor winning. But of course, Weird Malice will go through. Well, that was a very good display of driving by Malice, pushing Foxic straight onto the spikes. Weird Malice going through. Right now, we're going to take a break from the main competition and have our tag team Terra Featherweight battle, where we have Rip 2 and Ricochet against Suitcase Nuke and Little Nipper.
Okay, here we go. Suitcase Snooks trying to spin up. We're getting flipped straight away by Rip 2. Now doing a little bit of damage on Ricochet. Another huge flip from Rip 2. Still going to come down to the flipper and the spinner, I think. Although the Crusher doing a great job munching on the wedge. Look at that. That is great. You love to see it. Rip 2 causing all sorts of problems as well for Suitcase Nuke, which is struggling on the spikes now. Rip 2 also having problems on the spikes. Little Nipper and Ricochet having their own kind of little fight. Seems to be a bit of a stalemate. Oh, look at that. What a slam. Little Nipper, quite good control, to be fair. Pushing Rip all the way over there. Look at that. Look at that. That is incredible control. I thought they were going to go straight in the pit then. And a huge panel has just come off of Rip too. Straight into the pit, but Little Nipper taking itself out. And Ricochet. Whoa. Now that was fantastic. I know they've just gone back in the pit. What? That is twice they've been in the pit and got out. That is incredible. Well, I think we know who won that. Definitely Suitcase Nuke and Little Nipper. They go through. Okay, back to the main competition where we have Maelstrom against Can Opener. The house robot this time, weapon of choice. Okay, here we go. Let's see what the flipper can do this time against the very spiky can opener. Seems that can opener has got the better of Maelstrom, shoving him straight into the pit. Wow, that was a fantastic display of driving. That was unbelievable, but <laughs> we've got a choice having none of it. <laughs> well, there we go. Everyone ends up in the pit eventually. Can opener going through. Well, what a fantastic display of driving that was by Can Opener. They're probably one of the best pittings of the whole series. Maelstrom crashes out. Next up, we have Megabyte against Weird Malice. And the house robot this time is the Red Baron. Okay, here we go. Weird Malice stopping Megabyte from spinning up, getting the flipper blade underneath. And, well, now that really is the best pitting of the series. Look at that. I mean, you go in as well, but... <laughs> Unbelievable. Megabyte crashes out as well, so now we have our two finalists. Well, another wonderful display of driving and using the arena to your advantage. Weird Malice shoving Megabyte straight into the pit. Before we have our final, we're going to have a little house robot rebellion. Red Baron and Matilda are going to work together to fight 13 Black and Mega Mouse. Okay, here we go. House Robot Rebellion. And already the house robots are not doing very well. <laughs> well, I don't know though. Mega Mouse has got itself stuck on the grid. Oh no, it's back off. Well, how about that? Now it looks like 13 Black is stuck. Tilda needs to help the Red Baron really deal with um, Mega Mouse. That was very close to the pit there. Come on! It's just a slam into the pit. There we go. You can't mess with the house robots. The house robots are victorious. What are you doing, Red Baron? <laughs> They're all in the pit. House robots win. Okay, here we go. Who is going to go through to the final? Is it going to be Can Opener or is it going to be Weird Malice? The house robot this time is Igor. Okay, here we go. 
Can open it, get in the munch on uh, Weird Malice. Weird Malice fired its flipper too quickly, resting on top of it. Needs to get away, and it has done. But once again, stuck in the middle. Needs to get behind it. I think it might have done. What are you doing, Igor? <laughs> Just held on. Yes, getting can opener on its side. Now stuck on the on the spikes. I think they've done it. I think Weird Malice has done it. It has. Can opener is immobilized. But we didn't. I did expect that to be honest. Weird Malice, one of the best robots in the whole competition. And really giving Igor a run for his money. I think Igor is actually stuck on the spikes now. Yep. Oh no, you didn't want to do that. Malice is stuck on the spikes now as well. So there we go. House Robot wins again. <laughs> but we have our winner. Our heat winner is Weird Malice. And there we have it, Weird Malice goes through to the grand final. Join me next time where we have eight more robots hoping to be the champion. Until then, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.